Something that I've always had trouble finding was what software gets used in the anime industry. In this video, I'll be going over what software gets used, for what purpose, and we'll try to list them in the order of the most prominence, to the best of my knowledge and Will's experience. I'll also try to give evidence and examples of studios that make use of the various tools and programs to back up my claims, though I won't get this perfectly. In almost all the categories in this video, you will see paper and pencils get used. Most of the industry still uses paper, but it's beginning to shift more and more digital as younger animators get into the industry. Paper and pencils primarily used in all of the drawing related stages that I'll talk about later in the video. If you're interested in using the animation tools that are tried and true, here's what's used in the industry primarily. Econte, Layout, Genga, and Doga are drawn on pre-made templates that have been made by the studio. Paper size can vary, but A4 is almost universal. They will also produce the drawings with a table called a Sakugatsukue, which literally just means animator table. It has a light box built in and various shelves to keep the paper organized. Mitsubishi is the preferred brand for pencils. 2B is standard, but some animators like Nakamura Yutaka uses 10B to fit his style. Acme peg bars are also used to hold paper together and make sure drawings will line up during the scanning phase. Almost all the programs we'll mention here require the use of a drawing tablet. We'll have recommendations for tablets at the end of the video along with an entire software array recommendation. For storyboards or Econte, the most common storyboarding tool is Toon Boom Storyboard Pro, but given that a license for the program is $1000, it's one of the most cost prohibitive options in this list. Notable studios that use Storyboard Pro in their workflow include The Arch Stagio, Toei Animation, Shine Animation, Asahi Production, David Production, and OLM. Notable directors that make use of it as well are Makoto Shinkai, Minazawa Takuya, and Takeuchi Yoshihi. Storyboard Pro combines the animatic and storyboard phase and exports a lot of notation for you, so it's becoming really popular as a tool. The animatics produced in this program are exported as files that are compatible with essentially every video editor that's relevant right now in the global industry. You'll know if the Econte was made by Storyboard Pro if there's minimal handwriting and the template looks like this. There isn't really a second most common storyboarding tool, but any image editor might be used to draw Econte. This includes apps like Procreate, Clip Studio Paint, Flash, and Photoshop. Our recommendation is that you learn Clip Studio because it's the least expensive app here at only $215 for the fully featured version, and it's owned by the anime software giant Celsius, so we're going to see Clip Studio get more and more usage in the industry. They recently also added a feature where you can animate a 2D camera and add audio, so it's even got features that are making it more desirable as a storyboarding and animatic tool. For Layout and Second Key, the most common drawing software right now that's getting used for Layout and Ginga is probably Clip Studio Paint. It can handle almost the entirety of the pipeline all the way up to Doga. Studio Hibari has implemented it for a full paperless process, and many other studios are using it as part of the workflow for character and background sheets, layout, second key, and Doga. Next most common would be Flash, uh, which is now called Adobe Animate. Flash is used in the industry mainly in two ways. The first is as a drawing tool for traditional frame-by-frame -frame animation. Animator Ryo Chimo, who's known for Knowing, Birdie the Mighty, and Yozakura Quartet, has developed a plugin called Chimoshu, which includes timesheet integration, canvas rotation, and makes Flash a little bit easier to use for frame by frame animation. The second use case is specific to Masaki Yuasa's new studio, Science Saru. They implemented it for some keying, but mainly as an in betweening tool for traditional keyframes. The keys are traced in layers by specially trained Flash animators and then converted to symbols that can be automatically in between, as well as fine-tuned by deforming the symbols by hand. This is probably the only place you'll see this workflow in Japan, and we don't know of anybody else trying to reproduce it elsewhere. The next most common is TV Paint, which is most prominently used by Colorido. Wit Studio also used it for makeup and gradient detailing on Cabinary Iron Fortress, and has developed a timesheet plugin for it, along with a YouTube channel explaining how to use TV Paint for making anime. The next most common would be Toon Boom, which is partially used at OLM. Toon Boom is a common program in Western cartoons, but hasn't really caught on in Japan as a drawing program. It can be used all the way up to the coloring stage. Blender is getting used in various capacities, such as being used for playing with three-dimensional movement and layouts. This technique was most prominently used in Black Clover for some of the action sequences. And finally, we have Photoshop. The industry will use Photoshop sometimes strictly just for drawing. They'll use a layers panel to emit a light box. They may work with the timeline feature a bit, but the drawing tools are good and a lot of people are familiar with the program, which would make it a good choice. Our recommendation here is just use what you can draw best in. 
Clip Studio has a great light table and shift and trace feature. Camera motion features allow you to preview slides and pans before sending your cuts in. Line stabilization and a timeline that mimics traditional animation and the anime workflow. It also has a feature developed by Toei Animation that allows you to export your animation as a timesheet. So it will do a lot of the tedious work for you. At the end of the day though, what studios care about is that they have an image data appropriate for your step in the process. 99% of the time you'll be required to submit your timesheets as image data using the studio's template. So all that matters is that you can export a folder full of numbered images that make up the cut that follow the proper line, color, key, and written notations. For the doga or in-between stage, paper is again the most common, with Redis Stylus being the most prominent program that's currently being used. Stylus uses vector lines for cleanup so it makes the end result very clean. Colorido, UFO Table, Toei, Mappa, and many others use Stylos, or have used Stylos pretty much exclusively for all their Doga work. Clip Studio Paint is the next program that's it's growing in usage in this area, but it's rare since Stylos can run on basically any computer, and it has no extraneous features and works well with Traceman and Paintman. Clip Studio has a vector layer feature which works almost identically to Stylos, so we'll probably see this grow in usage as well. OLM Asia and Studio Hibari are currently using it for Doga. Next most common might be OpenTunes. It's been most of its life as an in-house software, mostly for pencil tests within Studio Ghibli. So we're unable to find use cases of it being used for Doga, but studios like Ponuk, Madhouse have used it for things like pencil tests, making color keys, and cell painting. It has also seen the most love from Studio Kamikaze Doga on Ninja Batman, where they used it for everything from getting the scratchy pencil effects you see in the final composite to the coloring and camera work. Like the Redis pipeline that goes from Stylos to Traceman to Paintman, this software now has the same potential for use as full layout to Composite Suite. Additionally, OpenTunes is free and it has an auto-twinning feature. OpenTunes probably has the most untapped potential out of everything on this list. Speaking of automated in-betweens, the next software on our list is Kakani. Kakani can also be used for layout and key, but its main selling point is its automatic in-betweening feature, most prominently used by David Production. Depending on the implementation, you might not even notice that a cut is auto-tweened. But you can recognize it was used for a show by the Powered by Kakani logo in the show's ending. Auto-tweening is done on a line-to-line -line basis through the use of numbered vectors, so it's not perfect, and is implemented selectively for cuts without a lot of 3D rotation. Some shows that use Kakani include Jojo Part 5, Captain Tsubasa, Working Cells, Sakurada Reset, and God Eater. For scanning and automatic tracing of drawing, there are only two apps that are used. Primarily a scanner, Traceman is used, and alternatively some studios will use GTS from OpenTunes. Coloring is a bit tricky because it requires the software to be able to properly read the colored lines that were drawn as a guide for the coloring staff. Paintman is the most prominently used because it separates black lines and colored pencil lines into different layers, which make filling in the line work really easy. OpenTunes operates in essentially the same way, so it's a good alternative to Paintman and it has a much better and more intuitive user interface. A lot of the Redis apps have a very antiquated UI. TV Paint 11 is used for 3D and cell integration at San Zegan and Lead-In Film for effects and drawing things on top. It now includes a fill line option like what exists in Paintman. Adobe has a monopoly in the effects and compositing area, essentially with After Effects being almost exclusively the only app that's used for compositing and special effects like lighting, camera flares, screen shakes, etc. It's probably because it's really easy to make preset custom filters and effects that can be reused. OLM has a lot of really good plugins if you're looking to get some anime style effects added to your effects library. For 3D animation and modeling, Maya and 3ds Max are the most prominent programs used. Anime is increasingly including 3D models in their productions, with the most prominent usage being vehicles, backgrounds, and large objects. 2.5D work is very common and is done in these programs as well. 2.5D work would be when 2D and 3D backgrounds are blended into the same image as an optical illusion. OLM has a lot of free plugins for Maya that are useful in the anime pipeline like crowd simulations, tune shaders, and camera deformers. Cinema 4D also sees a wide usage as well. Backgrounds were generally done with paper and Posca colors, but nowadays digital background production is seeing a large increase in usage. JC staff, for example, has completely eliminated their traditional background painting in favor of drawing backgrounds in Photoshop. They've also trained a lot of their 2D background staff on how to use the MoGraph feature in Cinema 4D for backgrounds, which require 3D components. They will also use Body Paint 3D to create textures on 3D models, 
as the software is a lot more intuitive for people accustomed to drawing with computer tablets. This plugin is used by JC staff to import Photoshop files into Cinema 4D. A recent trend is to use camera work created in Cinema 4DS to either create the painted background elements necessary for a scene, or even combine Cinema 4D background assets with camera work data from other software in Unreal Engine 4. It can then be exported using a sequencer for final compositing and After Effects. Blender has also been known to be used for camera work by animators at Studio Period. Studio Ghibli uses Softimage for a lot of their 3D background work, but this program is dead. Most editing is done in Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro, with Premiere seeing more usage since it has a similar interface to After Effects. We thought it would be cool to end this video with a recommended suite of software if you're looking to produce Japanese style animation from beginning to end. Here's our recommendation. From Ekonte all the way through Second Key, Clip Studio is the best choice here hands down. Paint EX, which is the version you'll need, retails at $219. Technically, this program can be used for 3D backgrounds, but the workflow isn't really suited to it. For 2D backgrounds, Clip Studio and Photoshop are completely interchangeable here. Just use whatever you're most comfortable painting in. You'll be paying for both of these apps if you take a recommendation anyways. For 3D background work, we would recommend Cinema 4D, but it is extremely expensive at $4,000, so don't buy that. Wait to learn that until you're in a studio environment. Blender is a free tool that can be used for creating anime backgrounds. Many people online have been successful in emulating anime style backgrounds using Blender as their 3D tool and drawing on top of it in Clip Studio or Photoshop. For coloring, we recommend OpenTunes simply for the reason that it is free and has a lot of great tools for getting your finished frames colored. It's got a little bit of a learning curve, but the tools are built specifically for coloring anime image data. For compositing, unfortunately, you'll have to subscribe to Creative Cloud, which is $52.99 a month for all apps so that you'll have access to Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. Since this comes with Photoshop, if you prefer drawing in that program, it can be used for background painting as well. Most professional animators only learn the layout to key phases of production, but if this is your software array that you use and you learn all these programs, you can start making high quality animated productions as a one man team for roughly $270, assuming you already have a drawing tablet. If you don't have a drawing tablet, we recommend you learn how to use a drawing tablet, starting with probably the Wacom Bamboo. Um, and if you like the workflow with the Wacom Bamboo, we recommend you upgrade to an Intuos Pro, which is what I currently use. If you want kind of something that's more reminiscent of drawing on paper, you'll need a screen tablet. For this, we recommend you get something like a Wacom Centex 16 or the equivalent Weon version, which is called a Canvas GT156 HD, which is what Will currently uses. Thanks for watching episode 2 of our anime production series. If it's a bit confusing about our release schedule, we're alternating between the anime production series and the How Anime is Made series. So if you're following one of those, we're, we're going to make sure to have them separated in playlists for you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to support us on Patreon if you like to see content come out sooner and more often. It takes a lot of time to produce these videos and support from you all would let us take more time out of every week to produce content. The next episode in the anime production series will be going into detail on the meaning behind Econte notation.